Hello everyone, welcome to Technical Voice. In the previous video, we have seen that how to deploy our web app to Azure App Service manually. So now we want to automate this deployment through our pipeline. So before creating our first release pipeline, we need to understand how the deployment works and what are the artifacts. So if you have ever deploy your application to IS manually you may know that there are some uh, artifacts that you need to put inside the uh, some folder and you need to keep the path of the folder in the IS server so now for example I want to publish this app to the IS server so what I will do I will create the artifacts okay so in order to do this uh, let me do it create some folder and uh, then I will let me add uh, let's say artifacts and now go to my visual studio and right click on it hit on publish so in the last video we published on the Azure app service so what it does is it uh, creates the artifacts and then deploy that particular artifacts to the Azure App Services but now we will see that what are the artifacts if we generate on our local machine so let me create the new uh, go to the folder next and select the artifacts ok and finish and close and now if I hit on publish I should have changed this debug to the uh, release but it's okay just to show you what are the artifacts so artifacts are generated and if I go to my artifacts folder you can see that these are my artifacts okay it's www root and all the things that this application has now we need to generate these artifacts through our pipeline through our uh, CI pipeline let's do it once we have created our artifacts then we will create our release pipeline to push those artifacts to our Azure app service so let's create these so in order to create the artifacts through pipeline uh, let's add it let's create a new task and uh, let me search publish artifacts name of the artifacts and uh, where uh, you want to publish so I'm saying that uh, publish on the path of the Azure pipeline and click on add so the new task has added and you can see that the artifact name is drop you can name whatever you, na uh, you want but this is, these are the standard usually people uh, uh, named is as a drop and this is the path to publish so we will publish our artifacts to the artifact staging directory so what it is so we are saying that whenever this pipeline runs a new machine assigned to our pipeline and then it will create the uh, you know the artifacts and then we will copy those artifacts uh, which are mentioned there artifacts build artifact staging directory to our artifacts staging directory which I will show you once this pipeline runs so let me save and run this pipeline edit publish artifacts task and save so our pipeline is being run now so once this pipeline runs we will see that it will create the artifacts so currently you can see there is no artifacts zero artifacts uh, because it is in the queue so once it's completed it will create uh, the artifacts So it's running so
okay so it is now building our app so build is so build is successful and now it is publishing the artifacts the build artifacts so so uploading six files so it is uploading from the machine uh, which is assigned to this pipeline and now uploading to the uh, staging directory of this pipeline so now if I go to the pipeline or I should go to the previous tab and if you can see now the one published artifacts are there if I go there you can see these are the files and uh, if I download this let's say so it's downloaded let me open my downloads and extract so you can see that these are the artifacts so these are exactly the same as we have in our local machine you can see so this is how you can publish your artifacts through your CI pipeline so in the next video we will use these artifacts to, to automate our deployment to the app service thank you bye bye